Sounds like you need some help with these snot noses into shape. What are you talking about? I'm talking about me having to make my way in the world again. And you needing me to kick some butt. I'm looking to be put on the payroll, pal. None of these do me any good. It's not what I asked for. So go get what I want and don't come back until you have it. <clears throat> Vaughn has been a loyal and a useful employee for a long time. Please, don't talk to me. Like loyal that. and useful to whom? To the Zakara Empire. You mean the Trevor Lansing Living Trust? Are you losing your uh, cool because of what happened at the meeting of the five families last no, night? No, I am trying to find the right information to put Sonny Corinthos where I want him. Well, with the looks that I caught, where would be more appropriate than the nearest hotel bedroom? And there's nothing to help you. I mean, I'm a grown-up. Not some of these punks that you're running with right now. You know where I've been. You know who I am. You know I'm no mole sent in to bust you by the feds. You know, I know all the angles and the anglers. I know my way in and out of a tight situation. I know my way around a gun. And long ago, my, my shade of morality turned as gray as my liver. This could do nothing but help you, Sonny. And I got some ideas. They could put you hip deep in cash. I know who you are, Luke, and I know what you were capable of. I were? I, I'm not trying to be indelicate here. Oh, no, Sonny, don't do that. You're known for your delicacy. How long have you been out of the hospital? Long enough to get my sea legs back. And how many heart attacks have you had? The number doesn't matter, man. What matters is I survived them. What are you supposed to be doing in the world? I'm supposed to be sitting on a shelf gathering dust. And I'm about to explode, and if I do... I can't answer for the casualties. Things have changed in the business, Luke. There's a cold. Nobody gives a damn anymore. The world has gone to hell. Everybody's expendable. Everybody's a target. Women, children. You work for me. You gotta you, you got you got be at the speed of light. And what am I? Like dial-up? All right. I can see you've written my walking obituary like everybody else. You think I'm too feeble to play cops and robbers anymore. Well, I can tell you I'm too damn stubborn to take a desk job, so I don't know where that leaves me. Just staring into the barrel of another dark, lonely night. You know, look, I'm not sure. I'm not sure where it leaves any of us, but I can tell you right now. It's getting real dangerous out there. That meeting last night with the five families was about business, not your own sexual pleasure. What's the matter, Travis? You're not getting any. <laughs> not to worry, Toots. I never confuse my sexual satisfaction with business. You want to run this? You want to be head of the family? Go ahead, do it. But just don't treat it like it was your first night at a public pickup joint. Who do you think cleaned up the mess in Sydney and put the Cavazzi organization back in the red in Miami. You think that was Uncle Rudy? Unlike you, I'm tired of working behind the scenes. I'm here, and I'm driving. So until you understand who you're really dealing with, you get in the back seat. And I am telling you that your father would not want this. I don't know what my father would want, but I'm gonna find that out. Well, it's too bad that he's insane. Yeah, guilt will do that to you. Man's got a lot of things to feel guilty about, but I'll tell you something. I bet you I can still figure out what's going on in that maze of a mind of his. You never know what you might find out. You know what it's like to cheat death? You've seen that bright white light go out, and you've danced with the dark, and clawed your way back. And what did you want to do? when you made it back. Live. Yeah. Live. And what would you do if some witch doctor and a bunch of meddling relatives had the rest of your life planned and what you consider living was not on the menu? I'd, I'd fight it like hell, but I wouldn't put other people's lives at risk and that's what you're asking me to do, Luke. You owe me, Sonny. 
Among other things, I'm the guy that found your boy Jason after the train wreck when he was looking at a mile of dirt over his head. I owe you. I owe you many times over. And you know what? Maybe turning you down is, is paying you back, and you don't even know it yet. I'm not giving up on this, Corinthos. That's what I hear living's all about, Luke. Yeah. That new warm body to come home to at night. But I don't suppose you have any lack of that either. I can arrange that. We've seen quite a cross section in this town. Mobsters, psychos, killer nurses, blackmailers, con artists, garden variety freaks and fetishists. Even a couple of upstanding citizens, which I'm proud to say I am not. An honest man in a bar? Imagine that. That was self-promotion. Actually, I have a severe allergy to honesty. I'm sorry, what exactly are you selling? What are you buying? Information. I'm the town oracle. Cash in advance, no credit, no samples. You know, I, uh, I know things too. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, you better pick those up. Somebody might slip and crack a shell. <coughs> Very childish. Wow. Well, so, uh, what's your poison? Sunny Corinthos. Pretty lethal stuff. I can take it. I bet you can. Are your interests business or pleasure? Maybe both. What's his weakness? I'd say you pretty well got that wrapped up in a tight little package with the red boots and all. Okay, Sonny Corinthians. Well, you want to go after Sonny? Go after him. He knows how to play the game. But don't go after his family. That would be a mistake. You do that and you're done. A house will fall out of nowhere on top of you. And your little red shoes, too. This is a family man. In more ways than one. But I think you know that. You wouldn't be asking these questions, by the way. I'm looking for information I don't already know. Right. You want a piece of his business? Or a piece of him? I'm the one with the cash. I ask the questions. Okay, well, uh, strange coincidence here. I just came from Corinthos, and, uh, see, I went there to pull in a marker, and it didn't really work out for me, but I do have some information that's valuable. What information is that? The further away from Corinthos you stay, the longer you will live. Have a long and dull life. Now you sound like my doctor. Ladies room? Yeah, we got one. It's, uh, it's down in the hall in the back on the left. Are you interested in taking me off? 